Hello and welcome back to Metal Machine Shop and to the latest part in my series on my tilting Velomobile trike project. I've been working on the tilting steering mechanism upright since the last video. This is the right hand one and this is the left hand one which I've mocked up and attached to the, to the frame. I've still got a few more bits and pieces to make until it's properly finished um, but it's just about ready to show you how it works. So in this video I'm going to show you how I made these uprights. They're made from steel box section welded together. Uh, so I've got some shots of me doing the welding and a bit of lathe work um, where I show you how I made these bosses here for the wheel axles which are welded onto the uprights. So let's sit back and watch the video. This is the 25mm box section steel that I'm making the uprights from and I've marked out the notches that I need to cut out to bend the uprights to the required shape. Here I'm centre popping the hole for the axle. This will be drilled out later. Clamping the box section down, I'm going to start cutting out the notches with my hacksaw. Here I'm using a cutting disc in the angle grinder just to clean up the notches a little bit. And in fact I started using the cutting disc to cut the notches themselves because it's quicker than using the hacksaw. This card template has been carefully marked out and I'll be using it to mark the piece that I need to remove to form the curved bends in the uprights near the top section. Just marking out the bit to be cut away with a sharpie. Here I'm using a cutting disc in my Dremel to start to remove the waste material. Very important to use safety goggles for this kind of work. A little bit tricky to cut away that curved bit, but I used the hacksaw and some filing to finish it off. And this is what it ended up looking like. And this larger piece is where the end is going to be bent up. You'll see that in a minute. At the moment I'm using the same piece of steel for both the left hand and the right hand uprights. This is the end. This tab will be bent up to form one of the axle locating points. Now I'm drilling the axle hole in the uprights. This is where I'm going to insert a steel boss which you'll see me making later on the lathe. Starting off with a centre drill to find the centre position. And I'm going to open this hole out using a succession of larger and larger drill bits. The wall thickness of the steel is one and a half millimetre, so you need to proceed fairly closely with drilling like this. This is the 20 mil drill. This is what the upright's looking like so far, with all the notches cut out, the holes drilled, ready to be bent up to the final shape before I can start tack welding it together. I probably could have done this more simply just by using basic joints, but I thought I'd go for the bending technique just to make things a little bit more interesting. So 
that's the first bend in the vise, easily done. There's a bit of spring in it, but that'll have to be accounted for when doing the welding later on. This is the curved bend, a little bit more difficult to bend it around. It was quite a tight fit. I probably should have cut more clearance, but we got there in the end with the help of a bit of brutal hammering. When I tack weld it up later, I'll have to make sure that I'm holding it to the precise correct angle before welding, just to account for that little bit of spring. This is the tab at the end being bent over. This will support the axles that the rod end bearings attach to. There'll be another tab welded on. So this is one of the uprights about to be tack welded together. So I've now got to the stage where I'm welding the uprights together, having done the cutting out. Uh, this is the first one. Um, my welding's a bit of a horror show, so I'm not going to show you that too closely, but uh, hopefully I can grind that off a bit later on to make it a bit more presentable. And this is the second one, which I'm starting to tack together before I do the welds fully. This is the MIG welder that I'm using for the process. This is a Clark 135TE Turbo MIG welder. I've still got a few of the other bits to stick on, like the steering arm and some reinforcing gussets, but I'm now going to weld this up fully. I've done a little bit of welding in the past. Uh, I'm by no means an expert, so this is pretty new to me, but hopefully the welds will be okay to be sufficiently usable in practice, if not entirely beautiful to look at. At this point I've completed the tack welds and I'm starting to weld the structure up fully. Just a quick tip for any novice welders out there. Um, before you start welding with your new welding mask, take the plastic covering off the lens, then you can actually see what the hell you're doing. It really makes a difference. That's part of the reason why the welds on my second upright are considerably better than they are on the first one. It's time for a bit of lathe work now, and I'm going to be making the bosses for the wheel axles that will fit into the holes in the uprights. I'm going to be turning them from this bit of 20 mil steel, and Behind me I've got the tools that I'm going to be using. A right hand turning and facing tool, a round nose tool, a boring tool, parting off tool, and then for the holes in the middle I've got a centre tool, various sizes of drills of increasing diameter, and finally a 12mm reamer that I'll use for finishing the bore. Here I'm just marking off the length of the part so that I know where to cut to. Turning the outside diameter down to the correct size using the right hand turning and facing tool. I'm using power feed in the lathe here. Just checking the diameter with the vernier calipers, taking a final cut. And that's the first diameter complete. Just checking the fit in the upright. Here I'm using the parting tool to mark two little points on the workpiece. And the part is going to be wasted between these two points using the round nose tool just to save a little bit of weight. sped up at this point. Just 
just used a little bit of cutting on uh, to improve the quality of the finish. Now I'm going to make the hole down the centre of the workpiece, starting off with a centre drill. Again, most of these shots are sped up, it doesn't happen this quickly in real life, unfortunately. I'm just opening up the bore using progressively larger drills. I'm using a boring bar here just to make sure the bore is concentric with the outer diameters and to finish up the size ready for reaming to get the final fit. Here I'm adjusting the spindle speed of the MIFID just to make it nice and slow for the reaming operations. A bit of clearing up. I'm putting a centre in the tail stock to support the end of the reamer and you can just about see I'm supporting the reamer with an adjustable spanner there which is bearing on the top of the top slide not actually on my hand as it looks like so if there was a seizure or a snatch then it wouldn't be my hand that gets damaged just using the depth gauge on the vernier calipers to set the parting off tool a little bit of cutting oil and I'm parting off the piece here off it goes. So this is the first one. Just doing a little bit of deburring with my deburring tool on the inner shoulders. And this is where the boss is going to fit into the upright and it's going to be welded into place and that's what supports the axle. Here I'm tack welding that boss into the upright. I'll do full wells on this in a little bit. I'm going to try and explain how I've made the uprights for the tilting mechanism. This is the progress so far, that's the left hand one and the right hand one. And that's the little bit for the steering arm, which will be welded on roughly in that position in due course. These are quite complex shapes because they're tilted backwards and also forwards. So tilted in two planes, which makes them quite tricky to make accurately. The important bit is I get the wheel axle and the pivots for the tilting and steering mechanism in the right place. So what I've done is I've marked out the elevations on two pieces of MDF. That's for the right hand one and that's the left hand one, or the other way around. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but I've marked very accurately the pivot locations and the axle position on this board. And I've also made this thing, which is a simple jig made out of plywood, which fits accurately over the pencil markings and has allowed me to tack weld the parts together in the right orientation. Finally, to make sure that everything's in exactly the right position, I made this little pointer which goes through the axle hole and locates in the centre mark that I've made in the board to accurately locate the position of the axle and hold the arm in precisely the right position as I tack weld everything together. When all the bits are welded on, what I'll be able to do is to use a square like this so that the axles for the rod end bearings are in exactly the right position, both horizontally and vertically. Just to emphasise that I've only used this for tack welding. Obviously, as it's made of plywood, it's uh, flammable, so if I tried to do full welds on this, the whole lot would go up in smoke pretty quickly. Here I'm tack welding the end flange on. 
I've used little high power magnets to hold it in place which you can just about see. And the steering bracket has now been welded on. And I'm marking out the position of the rod end bearing axles. In this slot I'm drilling through the axle holes using a hand drill. This is sped up. And the surplus metal on those brackets will be cut and filed away. I finally finished the two uprights for the tilting mechanism. I'm quite pleased with how they've come out actually. They look a bit crude. The welding's actually not brilliant, but hopefully strong enough. They're reasonably light. I'll weigh them at some point and let you know how much they end up weighing. Um, all I need to do now is give them a good going over with a rotary wire brush and the electric drill to clean them up, get rid of some of the weld spatter. Um, but since they're a prototype, I think they're probably good enough. The next stage is to dig out the rod ends, get these bolted onto the tilting mechanism and check it's all working properly. Then I will move on, I think, to the steering mechanism, uh, start thinking about some of the drivetrain components, the bottom bracket and so on. So thank you for watching. I hope that was interesting for you. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.